you listen to, to uh, people at CCA, we're going to talk about ACT or acceptance and commitment therapy. It's it's a clinical uh, theory uh, that guides our practice, mm -hmm. and we selected that uh, you know that we could completely train people uh, from a Christian worldview that takes all of the traditions of Christianity and and how people heal and grow, and it's it's studied in the field of psychology. Mm -hmm. And, and there's many parallels. You know, there's places where with the secular part of that, we would disagree because it's infused with, uh, you know, secular mm -hmm. progressive values. Mm -hmm. You know, but, but there's a lot of it that we have, have been able to adapt. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and you're allowed to do that as a professional counselor. And, and so that's what we bring to the public. So if I was to take two minutes and describe, and we could talk about that forever and, and, oh, yeah, and there's... forever more, but... Uh, you know, so, you know, righteousness, you know, beliefs and life matching up, mm -hmm. if that was the definition that we would have for happiness, yeah. uh, you know, wow. And, you know, and, and so what we find is uh, there, there's... Is there something traditional about that, though? Like, I, I feel uh, like absolutely. that should be like a John Wayne quote or, you know, like that should be on um, Little House on the Prairie or something like that. Like, so you talked about like those differences that those those people have. You know, well, is is this newer idea and this newer model that we're getting because we've 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 got enough prosperity. We play the rigged game pretty well. We get away with it a lot in this culture. And so why is this culture really struggling with mental health? Yeah. Because we don't conceptualize one of the basic components of mental health. We're not even looking at it in the right direction to find it. We want to find it from our environment. Not from, well, hey, I'm happy with how I lived my life. If I looked at happiness, I'm, I'm really content with how I live my life. There's a lot of ways we could sort of jump the track, and we think that we're on the right one because, you know, prosperity, uh, mm -hmm. wealth, you know, for a while can fool you into like, I'm, I'm feeling good, I'm doing good, mm -hmm. look at all the stuff I have, and you get to the end of it, and you find out that you're poor. That's what my song's talking yeah, about. Yeah. You know, but uh, I guess another example that, that I, I think would support uh, what you're talking about is uh, they, they did this study back in the 90s, and um, I don't know if a lot of people heard about it, but they went uh, through, uh, they, they singled out the religious community. So, you know, one of the questions is also, well, if, you know, if God's design gets you there, you know, why are people in the church so messed up? Mm -hmm. And first of all, I'd say, you know, church is, you know, is the place where messed up people should go. You know, um, right. you're, you're welcome there. Uh, hospital for sinners, mm -hmm. uh, all these kind of things. Uh, this is not the place for perfect people. Mm -hmm. It's the place where you let God clean up your life. Mm -hmm. uh, and and it's, it's the crucible where that truly happens. Uh, you know, but they did this study, and, and again, great survey, survey research. I'd put it up there with Gallup. They wrote books about it uh, where they said, okay, what, do you, uh, what does this generation, this emerging generation of, of students, and that's one of my you know, high interest areas, what do they really believe, you know, people who are proclaiming Christianity? And what the study revealed was uh, this set of beliefs which they termed moralistic therapeutic deism and uh you know so so Man, I, thought <laughs> I used big words I don't know that that's means. my big word for the day uh and uh you know so what is moralistic therapeutic deism what did the study show is that uh you know here, here are the set of beliefs you know god does exist mm -hmm. uh, uh but uh you know he is really not concerned with our day-to-day -day, you know uh, interactions uh you know or, or what we do uh, you know, he just wants us to be uh, nice and fair and, and good. Uh, and, uh, you know, the central goal to life should be to be happy uh, and, and to feel good about yourself. Uh, and that, you know, uh, God does not want to particularly get involved in that. He's only there uh, when you need help. Uh, and that people are basically good and, and going to heaven. Now, the, the whole point of the study was that that had very little to do with traditional Christianity and, Ooh, yeah. and what it was teaching. Oh, yeah. And these people were the mature Christians or what, you know, they would, they would rate themselves as like, this is central to my life. Mm -hmm. Completely went off the rails. And that I would say if, 
if I would, uh, you know, get into this set of beliefs, uh, there's a lot of people in the church right now that think that that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to match up, yeah. you know, their life to, to be happy mm -hmm. with those values. So, so, so if we were to take a look at the psychology of act and like, you know, how we want to really find out how people can reorient their lives mm -hmm. and, and how we want to help people, you can you can try to match up with values that and find out that they're false. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's a truth deep down. You know, yeah. and it, it's this is this is a traditional worldview that, yeah. that God has a design that hasn't changed. But a lot of times we can say, well, we we thought this was God's design, and, mm -hmm. but but we changed it. 